Thomas Crooks. Haley Madison Rapali. Okay, welcome back to the Angry American. Real quick before we get into this, important notice, disclaimer, if you will. Uh, the content in this article has been sourced from various social media accounts and information submitted by anonymous sources, readers, or listeners, or viewers, or whatever, are advised to follow discretion, and I am not liable for any misinformation or mistakes in this presentation, article, video, whatever you want to call it. All right, so let's get into it. Welcome back to the Angry America. So you saw that video? That was Thomas Matthew Crooks at his high school commencement ceremony and at Bethel Park High School back in 2022. I've got a great story for you guys today. A lot of information. It looks like he was highly affiliated with Antifa, which I've covered a ton on this channel. You can go back to all my videos going back to 2020, <laughs> uh, covering the Summer of Love and everything Antifa on this channel. So there's plenty of Antifa content. I know a lot about Antifa, and this guy fits the profile. It was not a far-right, gun-nut, Republican-registered uh, person that we're dealing with here, like they're trying to paint in some corners of, of the web. Uh, he was exactly the opposite. He was a far left extremist and we need to start using the right terminology. He was a far left extremist that's been radicalized by mainstream media and even, I would have to say, the Biden administration, many members of Congress painting Trump as Hitler this, uh, he's going to get elected and never leave office. It, it's all their rhetoric that caused this. Let's get that straight. So anyway, you saw the disclaimer. I believe that most of this is true, but I don't know that it's factual. It's from anonymous sources, but we're going to get into it. It all sounds legit and it all makes sense. The pieces of the puzzle fit. This Republican crap does not fit. So let's get into it. Who is Thomas Matthew Crooks and his what is his political affiliation? Thomas Matthew Crooks ID'd as the attempted, the person who attempted to assassinate former President Donald J. Trump at his PA rally. Crooks was a 20 year old from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, which is about 40 miles south of the Butler rally. They say that he had an AR 15 that he tried to kill the president with. Here's some uh, documents. I'm not sure what they're from, but if we look at the information, it's got his name, uh, you know, basically where he lived. I guess some year to date. I mean, the 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 loser made fifteen dollars, and it's earmarked in a memo here. This is from 2021. Receipt date January 20th, 2021. Memo earmarked for progressive turnout project. That sounds very far left to me. I don't know about you. And then we got Act Blue, who we know is far left. If you don't know who Act Blue is, do your research. Um, and that was in Mass, a Chusats. Thomas Crooks, the man who tried to kill Donald Trump, donated to Joe Biden on Inauguration Day. And it says right here that his father was a mental health professional in Pennsylvania. You can't, you can't make this stuff up. Who is Thomas Crooks? Suspect identified as the person who shot Donald Trump. 20 years old. I told you all that. And uh, the sniper waxed him. He's gone. He's dead. Uh, it says voted for Hillary and Joe Biden. But that's his family affiliation since he did not have legal age, I guess, to vote or whatever background of Thomas Crooks. You see all these photos. I mean, he looks like a miscreant, like uh, something in the gene pool got messed up. Thomas Crooks, age 20, has come up in several intelligent, intelligence reports. Recently, he lives in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, and is known for his extreme 
views, extreme left views, Antifa views, and involvement in violent incidents. This guy is connected all kinds of way to Antifa. The people who the left-wing politicians refuse to acknowledge are an organized group. They refuse to prosecute. They always let them go, but they will prosecute the Proud Boys or somebody like that, drop of a hat, but they'll let the Antifa types go every single time. Something is not right. I believe that the mainstream media and Congress and, you know, the Pelosi types and the AOC types and the Chuck Schumer types are all complicit in this assassination attempt. They're the one to stoke the rhetoric. Uh, everybody from the squad, all these idiots, they all called Trump Hitler forever. He's going to take over. He's going to take your rights. Democracy, you keep hearing that word. Democracy, they just love saying that word. Uh, investigations into Crook's background reveal links to la radical groups, including associations with promoting drastic actions against perceived enemies. They're always perceived enemies against the democracy. Reports suggest that Thomas Crooks has been involved in, act in activities aimed at causing disruption and unrest in different parts of the United States. There's another picture, and we've got some uh, examples here. 2023 Seattle protest. Thomas Crooks was reportedly revolved in violent Antifa protests in Seattle characterized by clashes with law enforcement and property damage. Portland unrest in 2022. Crooks allegedly participated in a riot in Portland, Oregon, where Antifa members clashed with counter-protesters, resulting in multiple arrests. Well, they love saying democracy, democracy, democracy. They just, they just can't get enough of saying that word. Minneapolis demonstrations 2021. Crooks were was purportedly part of the Antifa actions during demonstrations in Minneapolis marked by confrontations with police and incidents of arson. Affiliations for uh, Mr. Crooks. Portland Black Bloc. Known for aggressive tactics during protests. Seattle Antifa Collective coordinated anti-fascist actions across the Pacific Midwest. New York City Antifa, notorious for confrontations with far-right groups, and you don't even need to say far-right groups. They would have confrontations with any conservative, anybody who doesn't espouse the same extreme left BS that they do. Los Angeles Antifa Network organized counter-protest against alt-right rallies, Chicago anti-racist action dedicated to combating white supremacy in the Midwest. This guy fits, he ticks all the boxes. This makes way more sense than that BS that they're trying to push, that he was a, a registered Republican. That's so absurd. He does not fit the profile. This profile is way more uh, probable, way more accurate he fits the profile anyway guys until next time i just need you to like subscribe comment and share the video because you're the only people that are going to get this out there they don't want this information out this <laughs> this makes the pelosi's the schumers the bidens they're, they're all going to look bad because they promoted and pushed and defended antifa from the giddy up you know why? Because they were their useful idiots to get some moron like this, some wacko like this, stirred up enough to actually try to assassinate one, the greatest president of all time, of my lifetime for sure. It's craziness. It's all caused by the left and the mainstream media is highly complicit and they're not going to like to hear this. So you got to like, subscribe, share, comment. And you might have to do it many times because they're going to uh, pull it down or they're going to take away your like or they're going to remove your comment. They're going to do all these things. Trust me, they do it to my channel all the time. They've suppressed my channel for years now to where I almost gave up on it. 
because it seemed like there's no point. They're not going to let the word get out, but you guys can get the word out. Anyway, until next time, this is the Anger American saying, be aware of your surroundings at all times because stuff is really popping off out here. Peace. Peace. Out. I learned about kids jumping on my lap, and I love kids jumping on my lap. <laughs>